We are, honey, right back where we started from. You were awful nice to me tonight, Rosemary. You don't think Mrs. Owen suspects anything, do you? What do I care what she thinks? A businessman's got to be careful of talk. And after all, you're a school teacher. Anyway, I gotta go open up the store tomorrow. I have to go back to Cherryville. Good night, Rosemary. Good night. Maybe I should say good morning. Where are you going, Howard? Honey, I gotta get back home. You can't go off and leave me. Honey, talk sense. You can't go off without me. Not after tonight. Honey, be reasonable. Take me with you, Howard. What do people say? What do I care what people say? Honey! What do I care if I thumbed my nose at them? What do I care if I walked down the street and showed them my pink panties? What do I care? Honey, you're not being yourself tonight. Yes, I am. I'm more of myself than I ever was. Take me with you, Howard. Because if you don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I mean it. Now look, honey. Why don't you get upstairs and get some sleep? You have to start school in the morning. We'll talk all this over Saturday. Maybe you won't be back Saturday. Maybe you won't be back ever again. Rosemary, you know better than that. What's the next thing in store for me? To like the next guy and then the next, whether I like him or not? Till I'm ready for the grave and there's nobody to take me there? Now, Rosemary. You can't do this to me, Howard. I don't understand. When we first started going together, you were the best sport I ever saw. Always good for a laugh. I can't laugh anymore. Rosemary. Well, honey, I... Let's, let's talk about it now. Let's talk about it Saturday. No, we'll talk it over now. Well, honey, I... You said you were going to marry me. You said when I would be back from my vacation, you would be waiting with the preacher. Where is he? I'm sorry, Rosemary. This is Amina Nandy doing a piece from the play The Lungs by Duncan Macmillan. It's for the best, probably, isn't it? Would have completely taken over our lives. So much time and money, so much that could go wrong, end up sleepless with worry or with our heads in the sand. The world. Who would want to have a child now? We should be happy. This is a relief. It is, it is, it is. We should take a deep breath and give a huge sigh of thank fuck because we're not going to add to any of this. We're not going to add yet one more lost person in this crowded little world so good for us. Let's crack open some champagne. Let's fly somewhere. Spend our money on us before the global economy completely implodes. When the riot starts, let's join in. Let's smash something. Start some fires. If we see an electric car with a baby on board sticker, let's ram it off the road, the fucking hypocrites, the damage they're doing. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did wrong.